Welcome back. Um, yes, the next set of videos, I'm going to be wearing the same dang thing. Because I'm shooting these suckers <laughs> back to back. Well, not back to back to back, but the same day. Um, while I can. And I'm going to try to do as many as I can while my baby is sleeping. <laughs> Napping. Hopefully she's asleep now because she's been fighting it. So... Um, this is going to be the YouTube Pagan Challenge Week 11, which is what does the sun mean to you? And I'm going to tell you, I do not really use the sun much in my practice at all, other than <laughs> when it comes to my crystals. <laughs> and I want to charge some of my crystals. Some I don't charge in the sun. Um, or, yeah, some I don't charge in the sun because they fade. <laughs> So, um, given that, and I'm trying to think, have I had a crystal fade in the sun? Like, before I learned that was an issue? I think I kind of just lucked out. Um, and it's probably because I didn't keep it in the sun that long. Um, nor do I keep them in direct sunlight. And, well, no, let me not say that. <laughs> I would put them, like, on my windowsill which gets a lot of good sun here this home um has a lot of windows and so there's a lot of sunlight which is one of the things my husband and i loved about it our old home was very dark and you know um just and it, it kind of did not lighten the mood any it didn't help to lighten your mood any and we both loved the fact that there were so many windows there are huge windows I don't know if I can show you, like, it's like, starts up, I don't want to adjust the camera, because <laughs> I have such an issue with this thing as it is, but it's like way up here, and it goes all the way down here, so like these flower pots are sitting on the windowsill here, and the living room windows are the same, so it's almost to the top, I'm going to say there's like, maybe two feet from the ceiling. Um, and then each bedroom has a big, huge window like that. And our bathroom has a window. It's a smaller window. And a skylight as well. So we love that. Um, the kitchen has, or the kitchen area, because there's a kitchen and there's like an extended back part going towards the laundry, which my husband has, um, decided to use as his computer room even though it's not a separate room per se um, so his computers and everything is over there but he has two windows back there and then the kitchen right in front of me like this whole setup is uh, right behind my monitor here which you all are, you know is the counter top to the kitchen um, and we love it <laughs> we love the light it's amazing um, the laundry room doesn't have a window, but the door back there has a window. So, um, wait, does it? I really think it does. Maybe it doesn't. Oh my gosh. I'm so non observant now. I feel bad because I've been here for almost two years. <laughs> well, a year and a half um, I've lived here. But, um, anyways, I digress totally got away from the topic of this video. <laughs> um, I do not really do anything with the sun. Like, I don't work with the sun, other than, like I said, charging some of my crystals. But, it is important to me to learn more about having a practice that includes the sun. Um, and I've seen several books about this. There's not many. There's a lot more books on moon magic and working with the moon and moon energies and things like that than there are with the sun but I have found some and so I'm interested in in uh, obtaining those books um, the goddess I honor is a solar deity she's actually both Isis is a solar deity and a lunar deity um, in some aspects she's a sun goddess and you know, um, I made a video about Isis a long time ago, 
and I don't remember if I really talked about her lunar and solar aspects. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Um, so I don't want to go into that if I've already really covered that before. But she is both a solar deity and a lunar deity. And you can see that she's a solar deity in her one of her many headpieces. She has a few headpieces. Um, but one of them is the solar disc with like cow horns at the sides. Um, some are, you know, the the winged headpiece, like um, I think it's like a kite. Um, with like a winged headpiece. Some she has like a throne for her. So she has a few um, headdresses. But one of them is um, a solar disc. And there's a lot of deities in Egyptian, or well, there's a few deities in Egyptian mythology. Mm, why can I not speak today? There's a few deities in Egyptian mythology who you will find are solar deities. And you'll also find some who are considered both solar and lunar deities, depending upon what aspect um, you're talking about of them. So, um, <clears throat> uh, and in fact, the solar disk is also one shared by Hathor, which... Um, some say at some point she absorbed the properties or her tr Hathor's traits and that's when she started having the solar disc um, others don't say that's when but a lot is that she's uh, absorbed or assimilated some of um, Hathor's attributes um, same with Thoth he's absorbed or um, taken attributes of other gods as well so that seems to me to be something that's not too uh, uh, out of the ordinary in some of my research but um, I would definitely love to learn more about solar energies um, I am very much connected with the moon and with moon energies um, I do my workings at night because that's what I feel I need to do I don't do it at night because that's what people say you should do um, a long time ago I was very caught up on how everything had to be like um, and so I always felt that I can't do certain things because I don't think I can do that but um, I used to be caught up on um, doing it like this like you need to do this like this kind of thing and over well, over the last few years, but this within this last year especially, I'm really feeling like or learning to make everything my own. I mean, I've always known that yeah, you should make your practice your own. Um, if you do spells or ritual, don't just copy them. Make your own. Me personally, I am not a I can just write a ritual myself kind of person. I I need someone's format at least as a framework, and I'll deviate. So, um, yeah, so I'm very much a moon person, <laughs> um, but I, I am most definitely interested in learning about solar energies um, and maybe even like solar deities, you know, I'll, I'll include that in my research too. So um, that's basically it though, so thanks for watching and blessed to be.